It's Friday, and that means it's time for... Friday Follies! For that, we turn to Fox News contributor Raymond Arroyo. Raymond, you have a follow-up from last night about the Democrat mayor of New Orleans. That is right, Rachel. Last night, we told everybody about New Orleans Mayor LaToya Cantrell appearing in court to support a recidivist young carjacker. While offering comfort to the perp and his mother, she ignored the victim who publicly complained. Now the mayor insists she said, God bless you to the victims on her way out of the courtroom. And damn it, that's enough. Do not discount a God bless you, because for me, I'm very spiritual. I walk in faith, and I believe when I say, when I say God bless you, I'm actually reciting even a, a, a Hail Mary. You have no idea what's going on uh, in, in that connection. Oh, it's a, it's a whole wow. mass and a novena when she <laughs> says, God bless you. It's called using religion to mask your support of criminality. Mm. I mean, that's what's happening here, Rachel. Yeah, it's, it definitely looks like that. Now, re, uh, as the city of New Orleans has become the murder capital of the country, Mayor yeah. Cottrell took a trip to France. She did, in June, and it cost taxpayers $40,000. Now, uh, uh, she says, you misunderstand. This was a major diplomatic mission. This is France. You're talking about France from which we've come, meaning a part of the fabric of the city of New Orleans. You're talking about France that has an ambassador living in the city of New Orleans. You're talking about France that has supported a full-time position on resiliency for the city of New Orleans because we're on the front lines of climate change. And I do travel business class, absolutely. I need to be protected. I need to be safe as I do business on behalf of the city of New Orleans. We come from France, mm. only she was born in L.A. No one's doubting New Orleans' connection to France. The question is, should the mayor be going there during a citywide crisis, Rachel? By the way, her safety was so important, so dire, her security was several rows behind her in coach. So for liberals, Raymond, safety just means you're wearing a mask. So oh, they were gosh. in coach wearing a well, mask, so by the way, they and, were safe. And I have a little news tonight. A recall effort has been launched against Mayor Cantrell. Tonight it was filed with the Secretary of State in Louisiana and her trip to Singapore sidelined after this fracas. Mm, all right. Well, speaking of bad actors, Hollywood has once again <laughs> pledged its allegiance to China. Yeah, well, according to reports on the social media site Weibo, the Chinese version of Minions, I'm sure you saw this many times, The Rise of Gru, mm -hmm. includes an alternative sanitized version. In the American version, the two main villains escape at the end, unpunished, thus the rise of group. But China wanted to convey a different message, so they slipped in an epilogue stating that one villain was caught by police and served 20 years in prison. The other villain changed his ways and became a good guy. I guess if there was another villain, he would have just been sent to the internment camp. I was just going to say, did they go to a Uyghur <laughs> concentration camp? Maybe they were just visiting for a little <laughs> while. But, you know, uh, hats off to Sony and to um, uh, Paramount, who did the Spider-Man movie and the Top Gun movie. They refused to bow to the Chinese censors. They kept their movies intact. That's what they all should do. And they made a lot of money doing it. B the biggest movies of the yes. year. Finally, Rachel, I, I know you're a big fan mm. of AI rap, okay? Mm -hmm. Uh, so this news is going to hit you pretty hard. That's, uh, I know what you mean. Okay. okay. <laughs> Earlier this month, Capitol Records signed a robot rapper called FN Mecca. Lovely. As riveting as that was, the label has done a 180 on the robot, cutting old ties to him. Uh, apparently, artificial intelligence used to devise Mecca's raps perpetuated harmful stereotypes, Rachel, including several instances of the N-word. Well, mm. the music group released a statement this week saying, uh, you know, that they were they were separating ties. They were so sorry. They apologized. Deepest apologies to the black community for the insensitivity of signing this project. My questions are, who programmed this thing? Right. And secondly, since it was based on popular existing rap, what did they think they were going to get? Rodgers and Hammerstein? I, I mean...
Yeah, it is part of the whole yeah. way they do their thing. I was worried that they were saying that just hiring a robot instead of <laughs> an actual black rapper was racist. No. And then I got nervous because I have a Roomba. Does that make me a racist <laughs> if I have a robot? Well, only if it talks and only if there are you, you, you create an essentially uh, uh, a person of color robot with no black people mm -hmm. on the creative team. That's what they did here. So Capitol's doing the big walk back. They should have stopped this at the white. beginning. Yeah, so, well, okay. I, I just like real people to <laughs> sing, rap, or do whatever you're going to do. And we can adjust that. AI. Nah. All right. We'll leave real it Real people. I'm <laughs> down with that. All right, Raymond, All thanks. Right. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.